I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's webcast. I want to talk to you again about uh, the Jewish calendar and how it's different from our calendar. The Jews are missing 243 years, actually, from uh, the basic history of the human race. And uh, it differs 240 years from our calendar. That's because in the year A.D. 1, uh, the Jews reckoned their calendar be the year 3760. One, okay, 3761 in the year AD 1, and that makes them now 240 years off. But wait a minute, our calendar goes back to 4004 BC, uh, actually to 4003 plus three months. Uh, and so the Jews have um, dumped some years somewhere. Where did they lose those 243 years? Good question. Let's begin with um, the Bar Kokhba revolt again. Do you remember I told you on our last program that uh, Bar Kokhba was defeated, though he was claimed as the head rabbi of Israel, uh, Kiva ben Joseph, that he was the Messiah. He was killed. So, over the next 20 years, some students of Rabbi Akiva, and by the way, Akiva probably didn't last much longer. He was 90 years old when uh, the Bar Kokhba revolt occurred. So he, I don't know exactly when he died, but over the next 20 years until, shall we say, 150 to 160 A.D., 20, 30 years, the Seder Olam Rabbah was written by a fellow by the name of uh, Yossi ben Halafta. He was one of the students of Rabbi Akiva and an admirer of Bar Kokhba. He wanted Bar Kokhba to be the Messiah, even though Bar Kokhba was killed. But you know, Daniel chapter 9 tells us that um, there would be 70 weeks, 69 of which would lead up to the Messiah. And of course, under normal reckoning, it would, add a, it would you know, come up to Jesus as the Messiah. Well, hey, they didn't want Jesus to be their Messiah. So, Yossi ben Halafta wrote the Rabbah, the uh, Seder Olam Rabbah, which means uh, the order of events of the world. And he made some errors in it. I think they were deliberate. If you want to give him a little credit, fine, uh, for just being stupid or dumb, okay. But there's certain parts of it that he deliberately left out. So why don't we begin with the uh, problems with the Seder Olam Rabbah. And by the way, the Jews today, those in the know, the rabbis, they know that their calendar is wrong. They know that. They're not stupid. They know where the errors are. I'm going to tell you where the errors are. Okay? First of all, Adam was created in September probably uh, September 29th, 4 B.C. How do I know? Because that was um, Friday, Thursday night, sundown through Friday, uh, the, the 29th. That was the day when, uh, called the sixth day of creation, and God created Adam on the sixth day. And then God rested on the seventh day, remember? And that would be on a Saturday, wouldn't it? Okay, so if God rested on Saturday, then he... Uh, created Adam on Friday. Well, Adam in the Jewish calendar, um, that year was called 1 a.m. A.m. meaning uh, an acronym for Anno Mundi, meaning from creation. But there's a problem with that because Adam was not really one year old for 12 months. And in A.D. 2, Adam had his first birthday one year old which means the Jewish calendar is wrong at least a year at that point also do you remember 1 BC and 1 AD or AD 1 well we count down from January 1 of 1 BC down to December 31 of 1 BC and then with a click with a tick of a clock changes to January 1 AD 1 Ooh, what happened to the year zero what happened to counting up uh, one minute, one hour, one day, one week, one month, huh? 
What happened to all those 12 months? They're missing. So there are two years that the Jews, you know, had to say, okay, we get rid of those. And of course, that means that in AD 1, the Jews um, said that's the year 3760. But as I told you, they really didn't start using that calendar until the year 1517. It was, be, it was used by the Jewish community in Egypt following the Ottoman Empire's rise to power when they took over the Middle East. Well, that's some of the errors. Let's go to the birth of Abraham. We're told in Genesis chapter 11 and verse 26 that Terah lived 70 years and begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And so in the Seder Olam Rabbah, they say, Aha! Terah was 70 years old when he begat Abram. And so they made Abram to be born 1948 AM. I got news for you. This same passage of scripture clears up the problem. Abraham was not born when Terah was 70 years old. There are two other boys named there, Nahor and Haran. And Abram, by the way, you know, those three guys could not have been born the same year. So when was Abram, later called Abraham, when was he born? Was Terah 70 years old? Well, let's go down to verse 32 of chapter 11 of Genesis. And the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. Then we go on down four more verses to verse 3 of chapter 12. And God says, I'm sorry, verse 4 of chapter 12. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him, and Abram was 70 and five years old when he departed out of Haran. So 